Hey, it's the OC Food Diva, and we're back in the test kitchen again. With all this quarantine living, staying at home, Melissa's Produce has made it a lot easier for you to cook and uh, have staples in your household. So they've developed a bunch of um, packages called pantry boxes, which includes a lot of shelf-stable stuff, which is awesome. This is the deluxe pantry box. So I'm gonna show you what's in it. So we've got chickpeas, six bean medley, lentils, red kidney beans, artichoke hearts, baby beets, cooked quinoa, polenta, perfect sweet onions, baby Dutch yellow potatoes, Spice grinder, Italian seasoning, mushroom medley, cranberry clean snacks, and chopped garlic. So, I am going to show you five different recipes that you can make with all of these products. So we're going to do um, a salad, a soup, um, a side like a like a potato side, but for a um, meal you might have um what else are we doing we're doing a dessert yes you heard me right we can make a dessert out of stuff in this pantry box and then we're also going to do hummus because we've got chickpeas and everybody loves hummus it's a great um dip for vegetables if you have pita bread you've got crackers you've got chips at home it's a great snack so going to show you all that so stay tuned and we're going to get started hey we're doing another recipe based on the deluxe pantry box from melissa's produce so we're going to do a bean soup and we're going to use a lot of ingredients out of that um, pantry box we've got the six bean medley the red kidney beans steamed lentils Exotic mushroom medley, chopped garlic, and perfect sweet onions. We're also um, going to add meat to this one. So this one's going to have um, a Cajun style andouille sausage. Um, whatever sausage you have in your household would be fine. Because this is kind of like making stuff that you have in your pantry. Um, can of diced tomatoes, whatever you have. This one happens to have uh, green chilies in it. Uh, we've got cumin, thyme, salt and pepper, chili powder, paprika, cilantro, cotija cheese, and red wine vinegar. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grind up all of the exotic um, mushroom medley. So I'm going to make a mushroom stock, I guess, because I don't have any chicken stock or any of that wonderful stuff, but mushrooms have an awesome flavor, and I'm going to grind it up and then um, add it to my water, and I'll have a mushroom stock to cook all my beans and then you will have the flavor of the meat too from the sausage so should be good so let's start grinding okay so you should have a nice powder like that and uh, mm, I wish you had smell a vision because it smells delicious it smells like um, like ramen almost like it already has like uh, a beautiful aroma to it so that's going to be amazing for the stock okay now we're ready to get the soup on so i've got six cups of water in my pot i'm going to add all my ingredients so i've got one onion and three teaspoons of the chopped garlic got our pulverized uh, mushroom medley Let's try to get 
that all out. Got our, um, let's see, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. One teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one teaspoon of thyme. And then for all the fun stuff, so we've got our beans. These are the kidney beans. And then we've got our six bean medley. Got our sausage, our diced tomatoes, and this is one thing I forgot to mention earlier. Um, this is half a box of small shells, and then we're just going to go ahead and mix it up. a nice um, dark kind of almost looks like beef broth and that's all from the mushrooms so we're gonna go ahead and let this come up to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer for an hour yeah our soup is out of boil and it smells delicious I wish you could smell it you can really smell the cumin right now so we're going to go ahead and turn the heat down to a simmer and just kind of stir the stuff around so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And we're going to let it simmer for an hour. Get all those flavors going. Well, remember I mentioned that we had lentils, so here they are, and I'm going to deep fry them, so they're going to be like our croutons for our soup. Okay, once you start, stop hearing the sizzling, they're ready to pull. on paper towels and wait for the soup to be ready. Soup is done. And simmer. Let's see the pasta in there. Looks like a meal. Let's serve it up. There's our beautiful soup. Let's go ahead and top it off. So you've got some cotija cheese here. Adds a little bit of creaminess and some saltiness to the soup. And then we've got some uh, chopped cilantro. Add some like green. And then we also have the fried lentils. Which are going to add a nice crunch to the dish. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, the recipe will be down below so you can make this at home with Melissa's Produce Deluxe Pantry Box. I hope you enjoyed these recipes here for the Melissa's Produce Deluxe Pantry Box. Uh, you'll see a link up for it below so you can order it. A lot of great things we came up with. Five different recipes from one pantry box. And uh, if you have dietary restrictions, go ahead and replace with uh, what you need to make these recipes. Um,
lot of great stuff, a lot of filling stuff, a lot of stuff that'll feed the family for a couple days. Um, actually, well, more like a week, because there's, there's a lot of stuff um, you can actually repurpose and make over your leftovers with. Um, and then we'll also post the recipes below for each video, so you'll be able to make them. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Mahalo. Thank you, Melissa's Produce. Thank you.